Coming to Southeast Asia wasn't exactly planned. We're winging everything. I think it's fair to say a little has gone according to plan, but the adventure has been amazing and I wouldn't change it for the world. We stop and talk to locals and they've been so wonderful at giving us like great ideas and advice on where to head next. And so now we're in... Welcome, Welcome to, to Cameron, Cameron Highlands! Cameron Highlands is 1500 meters above sea level. It's so beautiful and lush and green uh, with all sorts of tea plantations that we just loved exploring. Strawberries are grown all over the place here and they're so good and juicy. They're really popular in this area and they have strawberry flavored foods and teas. Yeah, the night market is really cool too. They have like strawberry smoothies, strawberry popsicles, strawberry scones, strawberry pancakes, you name it, there's a strawberry flavor of it. Uh, Another cool thing is they have black corn and it's so good. And they have these uh, baby tomatoes, they're so sweet and delicious, it's like biting into little bites of tomato soup. And Hudson and Addison went for a walk to explore the area a little bit more and we found stores with like cactuses galore. It was so neat to see like all the colors and the shapes, the textures of them. One very spiky, so careful for that one. That one does look awesome. Here. It's, it's actually very soft. It feels almost like a bunny. Can you see? Yeah, that is not soft. Yeah, very soft. It kind of like fur on them. We continued on and found some pink rice that we had to try. It was really good, but so filling. strawberry but it's tight and ch gingery and there's just something else in there I can't put my finger on. Finally we stopped at a strawberry farm and had a good time picking out the juiciest strawberries. Strawberries aren't always the easiest to find in Southeast Asia, so for us Canadians, this was a real treat. In 
the morning, there's this like heavy fog that slowly lifts, revealing this beautiful cascade of rolling greenery in all directions. It's cooler in the highlands, and it's been a really nice break from the heat. We sometimes need to wear sweatpants and sweaters around, but it's a little different, and it's nice. It's a little cold for some. <laughs> At one of the tea plantations, they have a factory where you can take a little tour to see the process of how everything's made. It's really cool. I didn't realize how quick the process actually is. It goes from being picked to ready to drink in just two days. Unfortunately, we were not able to film in there. One of the things to find out was that the plants are actually trees that they have to trim. The lavender garden is this like floral wonderland and it's filled with rows of lavender and beautiful flowers. It smelled so good and it had the cutest little castle. Me and Addie went for an afternoon tea at the Jim Thompson Tea Room. It has a beautiful colonial interior and a live piano player. It was something Addie had been asking to do for quite some time, and I'm so glad we had the opportunity to finally do it. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.